All right, guys, here we are. We are at the Sony Electronics booth, and this guy here is Nigel Barker. You know who Nigel Barker is, right? Hi, everyone. <laughs> Out there in Twitter world. Twitter world, Facebook, blogosphere. The blogosphere. Right, online. Uh, I've been telling you the last week that Nigel Barker was going to be answering your questions on Twitter, and you know what? I deliver, and here he is. Um, so let's get started That's with... Our first question. Let's get started with some of the questions that we got in. Um, several came in on Twitter. And uh, why don't we start with Andrew Muller? Andrew Mueller or Muller? Oh, Who? I, I think know. Mueller. <laughs> Andrew Mueller calling. Nigel, seems that you like hard lighting and strong contrast in your portrait work. How does this affect the feeling of your photographs? Well, Mr. Mueller, I'll Muller, tell you Mueller. about contrast and hard lighting. Quite frankly, I, I'm not a, about hard lighting and contrast. I disagree with your critique of my lighting. Thank I was wondering much. if you were going to do that, because when I saw that I was like, Does he, is he making a bold statement? There? He is making a very bold statement. <laughs> However, you are quite right, I have used, and I do use, strong light and hard light and a lot of contrast in various situations, and it depends on the situation, okay? When you're taking a portrait, it's about the essence of the person. You don't want to inflict your lighting upon them, and of course create an emotion that perhaps isn't true to who they are, what they're about. It's different when I'm taking a portrait for, say, a film, and the movie is deep, or it's emotional, or something like that, and, and the actor in that environment is, is calling for a sort of a moody light. It helps tell the story. That's a very different kind of portrait. So I think perhaps when you see some of my work, you might r read into it in that kind of fashion. Oh, well, that, he's so moody, why is he doing that? Because yes, you're right. The lighting is helping to tell the story. But if you look at someone like, for example, an Avedon, who is my... You know, I, I look up to him like he's a you know, man of men. And, and quite frankly, he used a very simple lighting. In fact, he was well known for saying that I liked very boring lighting, that I like lighting that says nothing at all, because it clears the air for the subject, the person you're taking the photograph of, to deliver the message. And it's all about them, and it's all about capturing that moment. And I love that kind of lighting too. And if you look through my work online, and I suggest you have a look at my portrait <laughs> section on my website, and you will see that I have a, there's a variety of lighting because when it talks about portraits it's not really about the lighting it's about the essence on how you deal with that person it's about how you get that message out of them how you make them relax how you make the, the truth come out because that's really what a portrait is all about mm -hmm. absolutely so that website would be uh, nigelbarker.tv or studionb.com got you okay you've got two sites to go do your homework and find out more about Nigel's work don't be making bold statements there, Andrew. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs>